YouTubers, Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel. I was hanging out here at the shop. I got some quiet moment here. So I ate, took uh, some garbage out, organized a bit, because tonight gets really busy. It's Saturday night. Um, I got a really interesting video I want to share with you guys. Um, There's a rumor that I've heard through the grapevine through numerous sources about the housing market. And I want to know what you guys think of this. Okay, please comment below. Okay. It's saying that uh, someone's, a um, couple of people have stated that, you know those subprime mortgage companies making your home equity work for you those guys and apparently now they're turning away customers not because maybe they, that's what i'm hearing i'm gonna get into speculation why i think it is but a lot of subprime places apparently are not wanting to take people even if they own their own house so the question is how much indebted are these people so indebted with first and second mortgages that now when they try to refinance, they're starting to realize that they're in the negative now. They owe more than what they they owe more than what is valued. So they owe more they're paying more for what they're paying more for what they have, you know what I'm saying? So so the house, for example, is worth a hundred it's they bought it for a hundred thousand, but it's valued at fifty thousand. So no one wants to pay a hundred thousand dollar house off that's worth 50 on the market so that's what i'm saying people are paying more than what the property is worth and a lot of people are sitting underwater right now and these these ones that are give us a call right now you have this you have that you own a house you're qualified you give us a call right now and then it's like back to that whole you know people getting turned away from that now so this is through the grapevine i've heard this I'm gonna. I want you guys to comment below. Let me know if you think this is true, because once these guys start turning people away that are automatically qualified because they own their house, yeah, it automatically becomes a uh, how do you say a problem now. So now they want to take applications before. Now they have to reword some of their um, commercials uh, or, or or signs and stuff, stating. Uh, you qualify if you own your house uh, and and some conditions are required now. Before it was, you own your home? Okay, what do you need? Oh, you need 50 grand? No problem. Let me write you a 50 grand loan, right? Oh, you want to consolidate some credit cards now and do a jumbo loan? No problem. Now, what's happening? Anyways, guys, I want to know what you guys think. I'm just chilling out here, chillaxing here. Uh, sorry, I'm just so much going in my mind today, but I wanted to make this video. It has been heard through the grapevine. I want to know what you guys think about this. When these guys are like start to say no, 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 because they're going to be lending out more than what the property is worth. Uh, basically, the property is worth less with all the debt combined. People can't walk away from this. And people with unsecured debt thinking that they're not going to get, they're not in trouble with the unsecured debt and they don't pay it. They can get sued. So keep that in mind too. So guys, play it safe. Careful with how much credit you take out. Careful with how much you borrow. Just stay within your means. Like borrowing is, if it feels like a lottery win at the at the beginning, and then things just start start to to head south real quick. The second those payments are due, let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Thanks for watching.